What's up, Xbox moderators? My name is Sacramento Love, and you're here because of Xbox's new strike system. Well, what is the Xbox's new strike system? What a beautiful question. The strike system is basically a series of eight slots that you must fill to get banned for a year. So as of now, I guess perma bans are obsolete, which fucking sucks because this should have been implemented years ago. I lost so many good gamer tags: Knifey Activity, Sakura Profit. The Xbox Karen, Sacramento V1, all these gamer tags were banned because of my videos. And now, they finally fixed this shit. So, pretty much, if you've been banned before the strike system was implemented, then you're shit out of luck. Apparently, you're gonna remain banned. But for the new gamer tags, there is hope. No matter how much you fuck up or whatever, you have eight lives. You're like a cat. Well, you don't have nine lives, you have eight lives. If you use up these eight lives, you get an Xbox band that lasts one year. 365 days. But what about perma bands? They're not necessarily obsolete. Xbox said perma bands will still exist for serious violations, which isn't true. Xbox enforcement won't ban pedophiles or swatters or anything. They never ban them. They will, however, ban me because apparently my videos are serious violations. Third party moderator? Nope. That's illegal. Anyway, this strike system is excellent. If you get two strikes, you get banned for a day. If you get four strikes, you will get banned for seven days. And if you get eight strikes, you will get banned for a fucking year. So what if you get your first strike? It's a warning. You don't get banned. And they're treating this like some fucking police department shit where they have a criminal record of the player and that record goes away after six months. This strike system is fucking excellent. People were getting banned for little to no reason. Now there's a strike system that gives warnings, gives players another chance. It's wonderful. But the problem is, each strike is given from a certain thing. Like if you harass someone, you get two strikes. Like I said, two strikes means you get banned. If you're a racist, you get three strikes. So basically, our bans depend on points. We're living on points, and it's kind of the downside. But they actually made a graph about it. Alright, let's see what we're looking at. What are we looking at? Yeah, this is the graph. It shows you exactly how many strikes you get for something. <laughs> I like how cheating is one strike. <laughs> You mean zero? Because Xbox enforcement does nothing about the cheaters. Actually, now that I think about it, these strikes don't mean anything because Xbox enforcement is still going to be lazy. I don't know, we shall see, but I'm thinking the problem is the enforcement team, not the suspensions. Because you can fix the suspension system all you want, but you can't fix the enforcement team. Well, you can if you fire them and get more competent people to do it. And let's hypothetically say, you go on a rampage, you harass someone, bully someone, cheat and scam someone, there will be no warning. Each of these things will earn you strikes or points, whatever you want to call them. So after the rampage, you're banned for a year. So obviously, this system has its flaws, but overall, it should have been implemented a while ago. Not shit where you moderate something and get permanently banned for it. So how is this looking for you? If you do something stupid, you either get a warning or get banned. It depends how many points you get, which is stupid, but it depends how many points you get. And with these points, if you keep doing it to fill up that strike system, you get banned for a year. And these strikes go away after six months, which I assume after you get released from your one year ban, you have a clean record. You're a citizen who could start fresh all over again. Little, this is Xbox, not the prison society. Like, what is this? But with that being said, how is this looking for me? I have no idea. I guess maybe enforcement will give me strikes from a video. I have no idea. I haven't received any suspensions yet because we all know it's coming. And I'm glad that I will become the guinea pig to this evil experiment. But I don't want you to think that since this strike system is implemented, Xbox will be better, you won't get banned for no reason, they will ban all the hackers on Xbox, that simply isn't true. The banning system was updated, not the enforcement team, so don't think everything will be peaches and cream because there's a different way to ban people. That's not true. You can still get banned for no reason. Just because the process is different doesn't mean the people doing it are different. They still have a quota to me, and they simply don't give a fuck. But look at the bright side, you only get banned for a year if you get ice strikes instead of getting banned for life. These strikes go away after 6 months. So basically, be on your best behavior. Xbox was emphasizing how this strike system will stop the trolls, so just don't troll people. 
I guess... I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think this strike system is good or bad? Any flaws? I would love to hear your thoughts about that. And I can't wait for the privilege of getting banned with this strike system after quote unquote impersonating staff or harassing a hacker, god forbid, right? I'll just probably do some controlled experiment, I don't even know. I'll think of something. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out, goodbye.